Hey, what's going on guys? I hope you all are doing well today. Elliot here, welcome back to The Fragrance Well. So today we're gonna to talk about some fragrances that would be considered strong fragrances and let's just say you wanna wash it off your skin or you wanna just wash your clothes and get the fragrance out and it just won't come out. <laughs> you may have to wash your clothes a couple of times. You get in the shower and you can just scrub, scrub, scrub wherever you've washed, uh, sprayed the fragrance on. And when you get out the shower, you can still smell it on your skin. It may not be as strong as it was, but it is definitely still there. I got eight fragrances here that I have experienced that with. So let's go ahead and get it started. But before we do, as always, please remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you do like the content, and please hit that bell icon, enable notifications so you can be notified when I upload new videos. Let's get into it. First up from the house of Emporio Armani, we've got Stronger With You, Absolutely. Emporio Armani, Stronger With You, Absolutely. So pretty much agreed upon as a general consensus within the community that this is a strong fragrance. Uh, it's definitely strong to my skin. I don't wear it that often to be honest, but I have worn it a few times and I can just say that every time I have worn it, if it's gotten on my clothes, it took a couple of times for it to wash out or for it to air out. If I put it on my skin and I try to shower, you know, within a relative amount of time, uh, it's probably still gonna be detectable on my skin. So this fragrance has some lingering power. This is a sweet fragrance, slightly gourmand, overwhelmingly sweet, sweet more than anything. A little bit of a booziness in this. Uh, primarily I get vanilla and a little bit of chocolate with this fragrance. Even though I haven't worn it much, I actually do enjoy it when I do wear it. I probably need to give this a little bit more time because I actually enjoy wearing it, but it's just one I don't reach for for whatever reason. But yeah, this fragrance, you put it on, if it gets on your clothes, probably gonna be hard to wash out. And I know on my skin, uh, if I try to shower soon, it will not come out immediately. So once again, from the house of Emporio Armani, this is Stronger With You, absolutely. Next up, we got one from the house of Marc Antoine Barat, and this is gonna be Ganymede. Marc Antoine Barat, Ganymede. So with this one here, I know in particular, if this gets on my clothes, which sometimes I spray it directly on my clothes, literally it's on there so good that I can basically open up the dryer door after the clothes have been washed and dried and I just get slapped with the smell of Ganymede in my face. This stuff is hard to wash out. There probably are some methods that can get uh, fragrances out of your clothes stronger. I think someone even mentioned one to me before, but I haven't tried it and honestly, I don't really mind it that much. But uh, yeah, this one here, definitely strong. Uh, mineralic smell, has a little bit of an orange flavoring to it, kind of this burnt sugary smell as well. Very unique fragrance, a little bit leathery as well. Got a lot of saffron in this. It's one of my personal favorites, which is part of the reason I don't really mind it kind of staying in my clothes. I love the way this smells. Uh, same thing if I try to shower kind of early on in the fragrance wear, it's not gonna come out immediately. So once again, from the house of Marc Antoine Barat, this is Ganymede. Next up, got one coming from the house of The Harmonist, and it's gonna be Hypnotizing Fire. The Harmonist Hypnotizing Fire. So this fragrance is overwhelmingly spicy and sweet, a uh, very high quality scent, definitely pushes off the skin. I certainly experienced that and has some lasting power as well. And anytime this has gotten heavily on my clothes, it does not come out immediately. It kind of just retains that spicy sweetness, quite enjoyable even after the clothes have been washed. Just a little bit of a side note on this. People have asked me about it. I know there's an eau de parfum concentration of this fragrance. I've never smelled it. I've never experienced it. I've never even seen a bottle of it. I've only seen the parfum. So if anybody asks, I can't tell you what the differences are. I imagine uh, that it probably still has just as much pushing power as this and can't be all that different, but I just don't know. But yeah, in terms of trying to wash this out of your clothes or wash it off of your skin, it's gonna be difficult to do so. Once again, from the house of the Harmonist, this is Hypnotizing Fire. Next up, coming from the house of Lorenzo Pazaglia, this is gonna be Black Sea. Lorenzo Pazaglia, Black Sea. So this is the newest fragrance I have in my collection, but I've already given it some wares and I've already experienced this. When it gets on the clothes, it is hard to get it out. It stays there, it stays there a long time. Uh, I don't really know if you uh, shower right after or shower soon after if the fragrance lingers. I imagine it would, it is an X-rate, so much higher oil concentration. But I do know that if it gets in your clothes, that smell is gonna stick around. This is a 
a very green aquatic kind of dark aquatic it's uh, scent it's quite salty it does have almost like some kelp and seaweed like smell to it uh, a lot of ambergris in this very similar to Tom Ford Oud Mineral walking the same lanes if you will and I think simply because of that extra to parfum oil concentration the oils just really can seep into fabrics and stick around so once again from the house of Lorenzo Pazaglia this is Black Sea Moving on, got one from the house of Nishane. This is gonna be Wulong Cha. Nishane Wulong Cha. Uh, just a note, Nishane, you know, most of their fragrances are straight to parfums. I imagine a lot of these are hard to wash out. I actually do experience that. With a lot of their fragrances, I just simply chose this one. Uh, but this one here is a tea fragrance. Orange flavored tea is pretty much the overall vibe I get from this fragrance. Very long lasting scent, pushes off the skin very nicely. And if it gets in your clothes, it's gonna stay there. I will say the overall smell is not maybe as intrusive after the clothes have been washed. It's just still present because there's not really any heavy notes in this. Uh, in terms of washing it off your skin, it'll be light, but I've experienced it still just kind of staying there. You can still, you, you kind of have to do this to see if it's still there, but uh, I find that this one is a little bit harder to wash off too, but because of the nature of the fragrance, uh, it's not so strong that you just can't spray anything else on over it. Once again, from the house of Nishane, this is gonna be Wulong Cha. Next one's coming from the house of Prada. This is Prada Loam Intense. Prada Loam Intense. So this is a iris fragrance, a lot of iris in this. It's sweetened up a lot compared to the original Prada Loam. I get a touch of leather kind of hiding in the background. It's very ambery in the base of the fragrance. Very strong scent, long, last all day long on my skin, and if it gets in the clothes, it's the same thing. This one is another one where I can literally just open up the dryer after washing clothes and I can smell the fragrance immediately. And it, this one really sticks around a long time in clothes and almost fills up the room just a little bit even after the clothes have been washed. I didn't really think about it till after I put this list together, but I've actually noticed that strong iris fragrances have a tendency to get into fabrics and just stay there for a long time. So a lot of my iris fragrances had the same effect that this one has. So once again, from the house of Prada, this is Prada Loam Intense. Next one's coming from the house of Mansara. This is gonna be Oud Lemon Mint. Mansara Oud Lemon Mint. So if you're familiar with this scent, you know it's a strong fragrance. Uh, kind of a candied mint smell mixing with a lot of citrus, has a bit of a leatheriness to it. It's very, very sweet. It's a strong, uh, fresh mint based uh, warm weather scent. This is another one that has gotten in my clothes and it takes forever for it to go away. Now, out of all the fragrances I've talked about today, this is the only one that in my opinion, the smell after clothes have been washed is not really that pleasant. It kind of just smells like a chemically mess in my opinion. Still smells like the fragrance, but I don't know for some reason, smelling it after the fact, it's just not as enjoyable. And uh, you know, that just could speak to, you know, the ingredients that are used in the fragrance. So that's not necessarily a knock on the fragrance per se. It's just something I notice and just something to throw out there. But yes, this one likes to stay in clothes if it gets on it. And I also notice this if I shower, it doesn't necessarily want to come out right away. Once again, from the house of Mansara, this is Aoud Lemon Mint. All right, last but not least, coming from the house of Tom Ford, we've got Ombre Leather Parfum. Tom Ford, Ombre Leather Parfum. So every time I have sprayed this fragrance and it has gotten on clothes, it always lingers. Uh, this is another one where if I try to wash it out, it does not wanna go away. Uh, by the way, my comment about the iris before, there's iris in this as well. So leather and iris, two uh, fragrance notes or accords that have a little bit of lasting power. This one is no different. I remember the last time I wore this or one of the last times I wore it, I actually sprayed it on my clothes intentionally for that wearing. And some of it actually got on the seatbelt in my car. And I swear, my car smelled like ombre leather for like a month. Obviously, I didn't try to wash it out. I'm not gonna wash a seatbelt. It didn't really bother me either because I quite enjoy the smell of this fragrance, but I just definitely noticed that uh, literally from fabric to fabric transfer, <laughs> the fragrance was just stuck in the fabric and it would not go away. So once again, from the house of Tom Ford, this is gonna be ombre leather parfum. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Let me know down in the comments below what are some fragrances you have that you get them on your clothes or you spray them on, you try to shower, it won't come out or they get on your clothes and they're there for at least two or three more washing cycles. Looking forward to seeing what you guys share. Thanks again for watching all the way until the end of the video. I really do appreciate you all. Please remember to 
be well and smell well, and I will see you in the next episode of The Fragrance Well. Have a good one.